I've worked with a lot of truly influential people over the years, but when it comes to sheer body count, you're in my top five. Not even number one. <laughs> Millions of deaths. Top five. Frederick. Slicey. J.K. Calloway here. Yeah. Jumping back into the fall of the House of Usher. We're on to the finale. All the kids are dead. Episode 8. It's called The Raven. Yep. And do you remember what the Raven says? Nevermore. No. It says, I live in Baltimore. That's the football team. That's where Poe is from as well. That's why they, they're named the Ravens. Oh. Did you know that? No. A tribute to Poe. That's weird. Why is it weird? What else is there in Baltimore other than crime? What's their state flower or their state... Like, that's just a The state weird... bird is the Oriole, and that's the baseball team. So okay. it, it was taken. Okay, it's just, that's just weird. And... They had a fan boat. Hey, that's... That's, awesome. That's kind of cool. And then they stole the best colors. Yeah, Dicks. Then they won a Super Bowl or two. <sighs> Pricks. Anyway. Yeah, Nevermore. Do you remember what, like, what that's in reference to? No. Quote Not the Raven, right Nevermore? Now. Not right now, no. Like, I'm wondering if they'll even say the word Nevermore. You know what I mean? Because it's Netflix. So much more famous Nevermore going on right now. They're in production of season two. The Academy. Yes. Wednesday. Yes. We'll be here for that. Nevermore Academy. But yeah, uh, the, the, all the kids are now dead. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to have a little bit of a little flashback, flash forward, I suppose. Because we saw the scene where he passed out on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. You know, after seeing all six of his kids up on the dais in their dead form and then a raven was looking down on him as he was bleeding from the nose we know now that he's dying yep. you know and that he attempted to kill himself but whatever deal they made with whoever they made it with wouldn't allow that shit to take place so what now because <laughs> like, how does their story end and also is Madeline actually in the basement for that interview thing right. going on like, or, well, what version? Or what? Yeah, we'll see. Make sure you do hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like what we're doing around here. As we finish off this one, uh, yeah, make sure if you want to see the full reactions, go join our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. Best way to support the channel and every episode we do here on YouTube. We give a shout out to one of our patrons. And this week we're doing a shout out to a new one. Rian. Rian? Ryan. Probably not Ryan. Might be Ryan. Anyway, thank you for supporting the channel. We do really appreciate that. And stay tuned. We got lots of new stuff coming up. We just started up on Patreon as a patron exclusive Twin Peaks. Siobhan and I are watching that one, and we've only been through one episode at this point in recording, and we both got nosebleeds. Not really, but it's going to be an interesting little ride. But also, after we wrap up House of the Fall of the Usher Wishes. It's a long title. Uh, we're starting up a new show. And it's one we weren't really planning on watching ever. But have you heard any reviews about it? Oh, I okay. So I came across some and apparently it's outstanding. Gen V. Like, we watch The Boys. We love The Boys. It's delightfully fucked up. And apparently this one is as well. And there's a Homelander situation during this show so I mean we gotta check it out who would want to fight Omni-Man or Homelander I don't know enough about Omni-Man to answer that question it's basically Homelander <laughs> so mutually assured destruction uh, yeah pretty much at least season one Omni-Man apparently he does get empathy at some point hmm. I don't know if Homelander will <laughs> doesn't seem like it's on the horizon nope. the Raven 
What do you like better, ravens or crows? You love you a crow. I do like crows. She puts uh, peanuts in the summer all across our little porch balcony so that crows come eat them. But the problem is squirrels get to them first. And across the way we've got someone with an outdoor cat, so there's cat food that they go after. It's fair. It's fair. Matt, are you ready to see how this ends? Because at am. this point, like, we kind of knew what we were getting to every episode before. Kids be dying. Now, don't know. Matt, there's still Madeline, there's Roderick, and there's the devil slash death situation. Don't know, but we'll see how they wrap it up. Here we go. Four thousand people just last year, just in the U.S. Oh, is this okay? Just a guess. It's right back where we left off. The real numbers, millions, and that's just the deaths. Who knows how many more are addicted, ruined? Name your price. Oh, sweetie, you are funny. <sighs> There's the opening bell. Rung today by a representative from Fortunato Incorporated. The hell does that even mean? Like, what is that? Like, he keeps coming down there to stare at that spot. Mm hmm. What? Well, well. <laughs> I knew that was the noise. I was ready for it. And I wasn't ready for it. But I knew that was a little jingly noise. But what the fuck is that? I haven't seen that since episode one. Your granddaughter again? She is the best of us. You speak so highly of her, but you won't answer her texts. Annabelle, she had custody. And mm. I couldn't stand that. I just bombed them with money. Just flashed the whole life in front of them. And they picked me. Of course they did. But whatever if their mother had been in there. But it was gone. It was killed by the money. And Annabelle so just couldn't live without them. Mm. I saw her today. Who? Annabelle Lee. At the funeral. He's rich. When people asked how you took them, how you convinced them away from me, I look at you and I see you. The poverty of you. It's a great line. God damn it. So what's with the Harlequin? Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Yep! It all makes sense. Roderick Usher, the future of Fortunato! You're Sherry Man, aren't you? Holy shit. What is, what is a Montalato? A powerful wine for a powerful man. Nice. This is gonna be the foundation of my new movie. Which is gonna be 70 stories tall. We can make all the noise we want. You promise? I thought you were a cold fish when I first met you, but I like you better this way. Cold fish. If you can get over here, you can do anything you want to me. <laughs> well, that means the poison's worked. <sighs> what the fuck? Did you drug me? I like how you pretended to be impressed with the bottle, like you can tell the difference between... That's what he's looking at! Oh my god! What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's, That's outstanding. Why. Yeah? Get me out of here right fucking now! I will fucking kill you! Definitely not then. And actually, I think that makes you self-defense, so thanks for that. Help! Somebody help! <laughs> you make all the noise you want. What do you want me to do? 
Nothing. This. I picked the wrong Patsy. <laughs> you definitely did. Find us. I know. I know. Okay. I misjudged you. Given my celebrity status right now, I'll be on the fast track. Especially if you talked him up so damn much. You can make all the noise you want, and no one's due back at work for a week. So happy New Year. Oh. That candle lasts you about an hour or so, then I'm afraid you're in the dark. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. If the cops ask, I fucked him in his car, he took off looking for some blow, and you and I hit a second venue. You're a killer, aren't you? Both of you. As of tonight. Killers. I'm gonna say that. You killed Rufus Griswold tonight, didn't you? <laughs> what if I said I could guarantee that you'll get away with it? You'll be elected CEO, Roderick. Or Madeline, if you prefer. You will be the king and queen of Fortunato, your birthright. People may try, but you will never, ever get convicted of a single crime. Oh! You're gonna say it costs what, our souls or whatever? <laughs> no such thing. And the price is deferred. Let the next generation foot the bill. So that's the deal. Your bloodline dies with you. Oh! Uh-huh. No legacy. Well, I mean, damn. That means the granddaughter's gonna die, too. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's a good deal. I'd say that's a done deal. And say it. You have a deal. A deal's a deal. All over the world. Tonight, we'll just drink. We should settle up. You just did. We just did. Well, that was loopy. No way. No fun. Not, not red. No. It faded like a dream. <laughs> not for her. At home, it didn't feel real. They never found Grizz. The cops never came. The board voted me in. And the work began. You said they found her? Yeah. Where was she? Same place she'd been the whole fucking time. Luke, what are you doing? I waited to till the finale. Use that reference. Ready for pickup. I'm leaving now. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Your reputation is warranted. You're beautiful at what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. Oh, I know, Arthur. And I kind of set you up. Camille Lispagna was very good at what she did. She had a file on everyone, even you. So you can either ride the phoenix out of Fortunato's ashes, or you can watch it fly away from a federal prison cell. This I can do. Thank you for your consideration and for your generous offer. But I think I'll play on my hand. This has been a pleasure. And gone. Who are sh The terms were clear. Yep. And they're just... Well, they always had a hard time focusing on things outside of their immediate concerns, didn't they? There's a lot about my job I love. 
But there are moments like these that bring me no joy. I hope you know that. Now that she's in the clinic, it takes three years, more than a hundred skin grafts, physical therapy, reconstructive what? surgery. Why would you she tell her this? It. She's strong. She calls up the Lenore Foundation after her daughter. And she saves a lot of lives. Dozens in the first year, and hundreds. Thousands soon after. And then a major burst of growth. 600,000 five years in. And then it gets hard to count. Because the people she helps help others who help others and others. You did that. When you got her out of the house, when you defied your father, you did that. I thought you should know that. She's been texting you all night. Madeline had this project. She used Lenore as a beta test. Made this... Lenore bot. I guess the goddamn thing was activated because it's been texting me. All night. Some nonsense. It says never more. God damn it. Once upon a midnight dreary. Nice. Still sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore well, I guess we've finally come to it haven't we a world without pain I reached in and I snuffed out those flames in their backs and their joints their heads and their hands. I waved my wand. Don't kid a kidder. I've worked with a lot of truly influential people over the years, but when it comes to sheer body count, you're in my top five. Not even number one. <laughs> Millions of deaths. Top five. New one every five minutes, just in the States, but Open it up to the world? Why did you come here tonight? One last look at your great tower. What about Madeline? It's your legacy. Give yourself a minute. And then find your way home. This is our tomb. So... We need all the dressing, all the, all this treasure. Did he drug the drinks? Mm. Yep. Um. Are you gonna mummify her? Or just some of the treasures? Cleopatra. Right. And after you honored her, are you sure she was dead? Our mother was the same way. Thank you. Oh, Have God. Tonight, Augie. Mother was the same way. It was about soothing the world's pain. That's the biggest lie we told. You can't eliminate pain. <laughs> Juno inherited everything, and she completely dissolved it. Arthur Pym was arrested a few weeks later. Didn't uh, 
know what to do with this. Goodbye, Roderick. I'm going home. To my husband. My kids. I'm the richest man in the world. You know that? The night, though clear, shall frown, not down. But their red orbs without being weariness shall seem as a burning. Now our visions ne'er to vanish. Well, it fell. Didn't hate, I didn't hate that. Oh, it, the title was accurate. The house fell. Literally. Uh, yeah. So we found out what you know the deal was. Yep. Still unclear what the, who the deal maker was. We can make some inferences though. But I'm. Top five, huh? Top five death toll. Who else do you work with there? I don't think I want to know. Well, we got Pol Pot. Hitler. <laughs> That's the easy one. Think past the, the headline. Come on. Stalin. He wasn't very good. Lots of death there. God. Still number one with a bullet. Anyway. Uh, what would you think overall? I liked it. Yeah. I really, I like the way that... I it, I was surprised they structured so many Poe works so well, right? Like, they assigned a book mm -hmm. per death kind of thing, and then Raven, you know. That was good. And it wasn't too silly. The things in her eyes were a little bit over the top at the end with Madeline. Like, I thought she was going to look the same way her mom looked, right? When she woke up. In the, fir the first episode, but, but he, no. They, I mean, they were talking about those eyes for a long time. They could bring, up, bring like, them up, bring yeah. it up, like. They made use of them. Spend that much money on something. Mm-hmm. You should use it. Yeah, it's wasteful otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'm so okay with the, the Harlequin thing, <laughs> and the wall. That was. Wow. That was a good reveal. That was great because, like, yeah, they kept bringing it up. He kept going to the wall and just staring at it, and it's like, why? Oh. Cause he buried a man alive there, and he never got caught for it, uh, which is interesting. Uh, 80s were weird, so clearly that dude wasn't messed very much. Nope. Because I mean, really, it's like he went he went off somewhere to hide from consequences. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. So overall, that was fun, as they always are. Like Flanagan does a great job, yes. right? Like, for example, where would you put this on his Netflix stuff so far? Like, what we've seen. We haven't seen the Midnight something something. There's a, there's a little, like, teen show he made. No, I can't remember what it's called. But we watched, obviously, how, uh, Bly Manor and, uh, and Hill, House. Um, Hill House and Midnight, Midnight Mass. Mass. And, like, I liked Midnight Mass, except the, the vampires, like, okay, sure. What? You know, so why, why did the vampire decide to make him young? He could he could have he well I mean um, he could have just the vampire could have just like taken his credentials, you know, put himself in a box and sent him to that place. I don't know, whatever. Other than that, I thought it was really fun and great. Freaking, there's I mean all these shows. There's just great freaking soliloquies. There's great speeches. Mm -hmm. All the time, great dialogue. So that was fun, but I'd still put, you know, Hill House up top. That's just that was amazing. Well, that was like the the first made one me they cry. Watched, was, right? Like it made me tear up for fuck's sake. It was like, what the hell? Is, yeah. Like, why am I crying at this horror show? So they did a great job. But overall, super fun. Keep an eye out for uh, Gen V. We'll be starting that next week, and that'll be same tone. 
There were superhero stuff in this. Sure. She turned into a raven repeatedly. She did. She did. I'm just saying. Thank you guys for watching. Comments. Let us know what you thought of that one. And yeah, keep an eye out for all the other stuff we're doing. And for now, we'll talk to you next time. Cheers.